Hello and welcome to the Bike Century. My name's Ben and today I'm going to be showing you around this brand new model from Lexmoto that we've just got in today. Um, this is called the XDV300. Um, as the name denotes, it's a 300cc automatic scooter. Um, it's quite a special bike this. I would say it's a kind of a bit of a crossover between um, you know, the bike and uh, or, or maybe like adventure style bikes uh, and automatic scooters. Um, there's a couple of audiences that are going to really be into this bike. Uh, one's going to be the working rider, so someone uses this in cities, you know, Deliveroo and such. Uh, or someone who's looking to come off of geared bikes onto an automatic perhaps, um, you know, to do a bit of touring, you know, a bit of cross country, that sort of thing. It's got legs, this bike. It's powered by a, a 300cc uh, engine, which is water-cooled, which is unusual, uh, fully automatic, uh, 25 brake horsepower, uh, and a top speed of about 81 miles per hour, which is you know, pretty good for a 300cc bike in this class. It's got a 13 and a half litre fuel tank. Um, so as you can imagine, the, uh, the range is gonna be pretty good on this bike. And it's absolutely loaded with features, comes exactly as you see it right now. So I'll try and do it some justice. As I said, it's the very first one we've got in stock um, and it's quite an exciting bike. So the first thing you notice on the front end is the fact that it comes with ABS. Not many scooters come with ABS. In fact, most of them come with uh, combined braking uh, with you know front and rear independent brakes. Uh, this bike has got upside down forks and radially mounted calipers as well, so it's got a really, really strong front end. Um, like I said, unusual to see scooters at this price point come with, uh, with ABS. There's a couple of nice features that I'll show you uh, at the front end. Uh, one of them is the spotlights just underneath there incorporated into the fairing, which gives you, you know, absolutely loads of, uh, of, of main beam. Um, you've got this really nice honeycomb style grille to protect the radiator that's just sat behind there. As I said, it is a water cool bike. These rubberized, I suppose you can call them crash bungs, um, just in case you do graze it, getting it out of the garden, that sort of thing. We see that a lot with scooters. Uh, fully LED projector style headlights, LED indicators at the front end, and an adjustable screen as well, which I'll show you in just a second. So, um, so far so good, really, really nice basic spec. Obviously it does have the, uh, the hump in the middle there. Uh, I personally prefer that on automatics. It makes me feel a little bit more in, you know, incorporated into the bike and a little bit less likely for me to slide out as I'm going around the corners. These really nice uh, XDV um, aluminium foot plates that go uh, on the base there and on the front. So obviously you can have your foot forward riding position if you want. Pillion pegs nicely incorporated into the design, which looks really, really nice. And of course the luggage. So the luggage comes with the bike as standard. Um, they're of a really nice quality actually. Um, I believe they're, I, I believe they're stainless, hard to say, um, or maybe aluminium, we'd have to check on that. <clears throat> but uh, inside they've got built-in bags and air fresheners, would you believe? It actually comes with air fresheners. Um, so these are just Velcroed onto the inside so you could take these out and wash these if you wanted to. <clears throat> but really nice um, design. Uh, all the locking mechanisms and stuff are very similar to the, the type of locking mechanisms that you would see uh, on, you know, Triumph luggage, factory fit luggage from uh, some of the bigger brands. So that's a really, really nice touch, I have to say. And in the back of this one, it's even got some pockets so you can store your phone, um, your sat nav, you know, that kind of stuff. And again, it's got these built in bags that are just Velcro to the side, which is really, you know, quite a nice touch. Like I say, all the locking mechanisms and everything like that, they're a really high quality finish. So I'm really, really impressed. Um, and again, at the back, we've got uh, LED indicators as well. Obviously, all the traditional stories that you would get underneath the seat. The seat is like a dual material. Oh, I think this is like a leather out. I'm not sure if it's actually leather. And then this almost like a Alcantara sort of material on the seat, which is really nice, really grippy. Uh, helps you to grip the, uh, the bike while you're sitting on it. <clears throat> the, the riding position is really nice on this, actually. The bars are quite high relative to the seat, so your back's going to be nice and straight. You could do plenty of miles on this, and I think that's the whole point of this bike, really, is that... You know, it's designed for someone who may potentially be sat on this bike all day. As I said, LED indicators, you've got span adjusters on the brakes and the clutch, uh, oh, sorry, not clutch, uh, the front rear and rear brake on the other side. I've already mentioned there's braided lines on this as well. The screen is just adjusted by pulling these tabs out on both sides. 
that allows you to move the screen up and down. There's probably about two to three inches worth of uh, adjustment in there. Um, and it does just help to kick the, up, the air up over the top of you as a rider. Got this really nice digital screen. Um, you'll have to stick to uh, photos for the time, time being. We've not actually powered our bike up yet. As I said, it's literally just rolled in the door. So we've given you this sort of fairly exclusively. Around this side, we've got a 12 volt socket. So just in there, so you could put a uh, USB adapter in there if you wanted to, and you could run your phone off of that, you know, sat nav, that sort of thing. Um, and uh, probably very similar if you know your bike's quite similar to the Aura and the Apollo, you've got uh, a key fob that activates the center switch here. Um, these look like they're electronic switches, but actually they're not, they're cable operated switches to release the fuel uh, and seat uh, respectively. A couple of other nice little features with this bike. Heated grips as standard, um, not something I've seen on a Lex Moto before, so that's really nice. Uh, an illuminated switch gear, um, which is something we've started to see with some of the other bikes that we sell. So really nice to see um, Lex Moto doing that as well. On this side, very much the same. Obviously, you can see styling-wise, it's you know it's really nice. It's really well made, really well finished. Um, at the moment, the only colorway that's available to us is the uh, the blue. There is a 125 version coming as well, as I said. Um, obviously, you've got a center stand and side stand. Lots of really nice little details with this bike. Uh, they make it stand out for the price point. Um, have to say, really, really impressed so far. Um, in case you don't already know, we're a main dealer for Lex Moto, so we tend to have most of the range in stock all the time. We can offer all the usual dealer facilities like part exchange, finance, delivery, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, if you're interested, if you've got any questions, you'd like a finance quote, please feel free to reach out. We've got WhatsApp, live chat, all the social medias. Pick up the phone and ask us any questions that you've got or feel free uh, to drop into the showroom and try the bike on for size. That's it from me. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care.